I think this is beating Egypt a little bit. And they make the place feel like an absolute fairy tale. I actually don't remember the last time I drove. I think it's been like a year and a half. <laughs> oh gosh. Whoa. That's crazy. United from Cappadocia, Turkey. Last night we didn't sleep a wink, probably because we were overthinking too much. Happens to the best of us, but right now it is 4 a.m. and we're about to go do what everyone does when they come to Cappadocia, and that is to ride a hot air balloon. This was gonna come with breakfast, but now we'll be well fed before hopping on the air balloon. Hot air balloon. Gotta go, gotta go. We are officially taking off. <laughs> it's so fast. Strip. <laughs> Not strip. I'm gonna strap this very tightly <laughs> to my body. I gotta say, I think this is beating Egypt a little bit, <laughs> having less people and expert pilot. Our pilot on board is an absolute professional. He is taking us straight into the Badlands and we can see all of the fairy chimneys up close and personal. There was one point where we could almost touch a tree and apparently in the summer times you can actually pluck some fruit off and eat it right here in the basket. But unfortunately it's not the summer right now so there was no fruit to bear. <laughs> but you know if you want to do that come in the summer. Yeah but you also need this pilot. Yeah. <laughs> also in case you are wondering what a fairy chimney is, it's one of those triangle spires that are coming up from the ground. They're everywhere and they make the place feel like an absolute fairy tale. <laughs> no fruit. Oh, oh, oh. There's the trailer. Oh, onto you? Yes. Oh, special. <laughs> Scoop. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Nice. Thank you. Oh. Three, two, one. a successful flight. We survived. <laughs> we were also given each a certificate for sitting in the air balloon. <laughs> Hi, air balloon. I keep saying air balloon. <laughs> We've now made it back to our Airbnb after the most fantastic morning I could have ever imagined. Surpassed all of my expectations. Yeah. And the fact that we had an hour and 25 minute flight time. Yeah. The weather was perfect and there were way more balloons than I thought there would be. The last time we were in a hot air balloon it was over in Luxor, Egypt and it was eight times cheaper than the one that we booked today. However, we were jam-packed in a basket with 30 other people and the ride itself was maybe 15 minutes long. I didn't even get time to talk to the camera because we were up <laughs> and right back down to the yeah. ground before I even knew Very it. Very fast. Yeah. Although this one is, what, eight times the price, I feel like it's warranted. You can tell that they know what they're doing and the fact that you get breakfast, which was totally unexpected. Yeah. Everything was just so well organized. Mm -hmm. And the pilot was the best high air balloon pilot we'll probably ever come across. Yeah. He was doing such a good job and literally I could have touched something yeah. at some point. Yeah, he was going into the valleys and then back out yeah. and just was weaving through and spinning the basket so that everyone could also get to experience, you know, being on one of the other sides. And the fact that they stayed low for about 40 minutes, I would say, before they took us to a high elevation to see the sunrise was just another really cool perk. But now we are waiting for our second complimentary breakfast that comes 
comes with our accommodation. Yes, we are staying at the Rose Cave Hotel and I was talking with the owner yesterday up here on the rooftop, which is one of my favorite things about this place. And he said that his grandparents used to live here and his grandparents' grandparents own the place. So it's been in the family for a very long time and the rooms are extremely unique. We just heard a knock on the door and I think breakfast is ready. Uh, coffee. Like YouTube or something? Damn. Yeah, we are. We do have a YouTube. <laughs> We've got our traditional Turkish breakfast here. Got some dried apricot, some meat, tomato, cucumber, cheese, of course, massive loaf of bread here you gotta always have bread here in turkey and then we've got some menemen as you might remember in our food tour video that is the tomato based scrambled eggs so excited to have that so let's dig on in Here in Cappadocia, there are a number of different open air museums scattered around and today we're gonna go and visit one of them. We have just made it into the Gourmet Open Air Museum and tickets cost 100 Turkish Lira per person. But this entire place is a collection of churches and cathedrals and each of them were carved into the rock because I guess during that time Christianity was not allowed. On the inside there are actually some frescoes of the different saints and religious leaders that were found during that time. But I was actually talking with our accommodation host this morning and he was telling me that this is the starting point for Christianity before heading west. So all of the churches and cathedrals that you see in Europe would not have existed without the Christians that were here in hiding keeping Christianity alive. Life. Behind me you can see a ton of little cubbies carved into the rock and those are actually pigeon holes that people actually carved them for the pigeons because the pigeon poop was actually a very good fertilizer for the land here. I'm a little out of breath but I do believe we are standing amongst an ancient dining room. So behind me there's a long stone table and around it there is seating. I want one of these in the apricot house. I'll sit over there. You sit over there. <laughs> Another little feature in this room is a place that they used to make wine. There is a hole in the ground where they would put the grapes and they'd smash it with their feet and there are little draining holes that would collect the liquid that came from it. If you didn't know, Cappadocia is known for their wines and their vineyards everywhere and we could see them from the hot air balloon ride this morning. And so it's really cool to see the place that they were making wine so many years ago. By this point, we've been to a lot of ancient ruins where people used to inhabit the places. And so we could tell that they used to have a fire in here because all of the walls, all the ceilings are covered in black. And so that must mean the smoke was cascading around the room. perched up at an overlook and this place is really reminding me of the Badlands National Park but with human habitation and with all the little windows that are in the spires and the land it really feels like a magical world or some sort of like fairyland cottage. <laughs> Our final activity for the day is going to be riding ATVs through the fairy chimneys, through the valley, and just seeing everything up close and personal. And the both of us have never ridden an ATV before, so definitely wish us luck. I think this is going to be an incredible first experience. We get to wear these very cute hairnets under our <laughs> helmet. This is going to be our ride for the evening. What's wonderful about our ATV tour is that they take you to some of the best spots here in Cappadocia. So our very first stop is Love Valley. And it is mm -hmm. called that because behind us are several phalluses standing very high, very tall yes. in the sunlight. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful place for sunset. And so far the tour has been on the slower side. So I'm <laughs> hoping that we can uh, get like a nice straight road and I can just really floor it. Yeah, Chad wants to go so fast that I fly off the back, huh? <laughs> yes, I very much do. <gasps> Come 
It really is like a playground here. <laughs> Captain Claire is taking over the wheel. I'll be driving us home, hopefully safely. I actually don't remember the last time I drove. I think it's been like a year and a half. <laughs> oh gosh, final words. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I like players driving, it's fun. Wow, what a wild, wild day. We have been going like nonstop all of today and we are starving. And so we're gonna go find a really cool place to eat and there's one dish that I really wanna get and I hope they have it. Date night with Bay. Power went out. <laughs> Cheers. We got an order of their soup of the day and I believe it is lentil soup with rice. Ah, I love lentil soup. We've been having a lot of that here. This soup was heavenly. I don't even know how the main dishes can compete with that. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I could just eat a pot of that. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. That's wild. So I suppose they cook this in a clay pot, they bring it out on fire, and then I get to smack it open, pour it on a plate, and we've got some really nice tender meat, and it comes with some rice. That was crazy. They really reminded me of the spire, like the clay pot reminds me of the spires that we have here, so. Oh yeah. Full circle. That was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing we got was some lamb chops because lamb is one of their best meats here in Turkey. And we're going to dig in and have a fantastic dinner. <laughs> Hungry, huh? <laughs> There's one final thing we have to do today before we can go back home and look at the stars, and that is to find a Cappadocia ornament. <laughs> We're currently balloon shopping. We've got some different options. You go see how much it costs. We have officially decided on the ornament. We decided on the red one because of the turkey flag having red everywhere. Always ice cream available yeah. here. <laughs> They're always like, you want ice cream, you want ice cream? <laughs> like, yes, but I don't want to be tricked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's had too much ice cream. Whether it's night or day, Cappadocia does feel and look like heaven on earth. If you'd like to follow along on our journey to 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. If you'd like to see some behind the scenes content, um, join us on Patreon. And with that, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.